Hey guys, it's Michelle. I was recently asked to do a nail tutorial um, about how I take care of my nails. Um, I thought that was an interesting video. I've never really thought about my nails before. Um, I just do like what I thought um, most people do. But um, I will talk about them, and if you want me to do like designs, because I know a couple of you have commented on some of the designs that I've, are on my nails, I do do those by hand. Um, I'm an artist, so I used to get my nails done professionally. I used to have acrylics, and um, it was just going every time. Like I get really bored very easily. So sitting there while they were doing my nails, even though it was fun, I would get bored very easily, and I almost dreaded having them do my fills. So I was like, but I loved the designs that they would do. So I was like, well, I can paint on a canvas. Why don't I just do it on my nails? So I started thinking of my nails as mini canvases, and um, that's how I started doing nail art. I don't do it professionally. I just do it for myself. But um, I am going to show you the products I do use on my nails and talk a little bit about them. So um, you've seen them in videos before. Um, I do have long nails. Part of my problem with my nails is that they're too strong. Um, I know some people think, oh my god, you're so lucky. It's not that great, actually. Um, I break my nail clippers when I cut them. It, once a month, at least, I will break my nail clippers and have to go out and buy new ones. That's why so many people give me manicure sets, because they know I go through clippers pretty badly. Anyway, um, it is a good thing, and in some ways, but in other ways it's not. Um, I do have very long nail beds, or wide nail beds. Um, if I cover here, the actual nail, even when they're short, come on, focus. My nail beds look um, pretty long. They're pretty wide and long, my nail bed beds without them being grown out. But um, they are extremely strong. But I'm going to show you the products that I do use. The one thing that I do use, and I get this at Sephora, it is the Nail Magic Nail Hardener and Conditioner. I put this on top of my nails um, before painting them. Even when they're plain, um, they are breathing right now. So I don't have anything on them. But I use this, and it's really good. I think I paid $5 for it over at um, Sally's. So it's definitely worth it. I know they've been out on the market for years. Okay, since 1960. So, I mean, this is pretty good stuff. Next, because I have problems with my cuticles and I'm always attacking them, is my Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. And this stuff smells great. I love the fresh smell. And I'm always rubbing this into um, my cuticles and on my nail beds. You've all seen this. I think everybody um, has this or something similar to it. And the next thing... And I think this is like the big one. I really like this stuff. Um, and they're not paying me to say any of this, guys. I found them on my own. I'm not being endorsed in any way, shape, or form. But this is Yai's Rocher. And I've talked about them before. I do enjoy their products. They have great promotions and stuff. And you get freebies with every order, which is really awesome. And this particular item is the Anti-Breakage Nail Treatment and Strengthener. And I forget how much I paid for it, but it wasn't that much at all. And I've had it for a while now. Um, it looks... Let me see if I can show it to you. I've used a lot. So there's, like, not much in here. It looks... Come on. It kind of looks like lip gloss in here, doesn't it? Here, come on. Up. It's kind of like a Vaseline-y, petroleum-based thing. But you take a little bit of that, and I massage that into the nails. I do it twice a day, um, when I'm letting them breathe anyway. Uh, I've never done this with polish on. It kind of defeats the purpose, as, um, as you would think. But it's to keep them from breaking, because I have used 100% acetone on my nails before, and it's not good for your nails at all. I was trying to use the crap up, and that's what I did. So... Um, I do use this, and it does seem to help. It makes them a little stronger. Um, it gives them a nice shine and stuff. You're going to have to clean your... I take a napkin, and I clean up around the nail bed and my fingertips when I'm done using it because it is kind of goopy. That's the only thing I don't like about this stuff. But it works really well. I really enjoy this. Um, I think the other part is probably my diet. Um, I'm lactose intolerant, so I really can't eat a lot of 
dairy products. Um, I can't do milk. Just the smell of milk makes me kind of gag a little bit. It's weird. I can eat certain cheeses. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the way it's pasteurized. I don't know. I can eat um, mozzarella in very, very tiny amounts. I can do Parmesan and I can do like cheddar once in a while. And if I, if I uh, couldn't have my mozzarella, I would die. And it's gotten, I was born with it. It's gotten worse as I've gotten older. Like I remember when I turned 18 because I used to be able to drink like, um, like chocolate milk and stuff like that, like milk based drinks and all I would get would be like a slight stomach ache. Um, but when I turned 18, those same drinks, like, I would get violently ill. I mean, we won't get into the details because it's really bad. And I'm like, can it, I talked to my daughter, I was like, can it get worse over time? And it does, unfortunately, sometimes. So certain things that I used to be able to eat, I don't anymore. But me and Joey both have the same problem, which kind of stinks. So we get our calcium through other means. We take multivitamins um, to help that. We eat a lot of broccoli and bean sprouts in our diet. I make broccoli almost daily. Well, not daily, but we eat it very often um, to keep, you know, the calcium in your body and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other tips I could give you. But we do a lot of broccoli. Spinach is a biggie. I know some people are like, ugh. I actually have a great spinach recipe where it has spinach, tomatoes, red wine vinegar and bacon in it with pasta and it's really good I've learned that because Joey doesn't like spinach all that much like I'll do the fresh spinach in the in the salad kind of thing but uh, most people in my family do not like spinach all that much except for my mother and me so I kind of with the red wine and the bacon it really adds a nice flavor to it and it's easier to get people to eat so uh, that's something else I have learned but um just calcium is a big thing I do wash the dishes by hand so people are like, oh, they chip a lot and stuff. But if you use like an anti-breakage thing, like this stuff right here, and just, you know, keep massaging it in and you take care of them and stuff like that. Don't wear polish all the time. I do love polished nails very much. I love, you've seen my nails are normally polished, but you gotta let them breathe. I will, t like after 10 days, if I'm wearing like the nail strips and stuff, I'll take it off, I'll let them breathe for a day or so, and then I'll put polish on them again. I don't like putting polish right on right after um, I've removed it, because it's not good. So letting them breathe in between, I've learned, because I've had my nails um, not rot, but they turn yellow and they discolor, because I went through that phase where I always had to have my nails done. And it's not healthy for your nails at all. If your nails start to yellow and discolor, it's because you're not letting them breathe and they do need to breathe. So once you get into that habit, it definitely does help. Um, if you guys want me to do nail tutorials on different nail art, I will be doing my nails with like a little martini glass um, within the next couple of days and stuff like that. Let me know and I would love to do that kind of thing for you guys. I hope some of the tips I've given you in this video has um, can help. Like I said, I think part of it is just from our diet because we eat a lot of bean sprouts and broccoli and a lot of calcium, um, I don't want to say calcium ridden, but foods with calcium in it and then with the vitamin as well. I think that helps. Uh, we don't drink that much soda. I do love soda, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I do love it. But uh, it's a lot of iced tea and I've been really big on drinking more water lately, so I think that helps as well. And a glass of, I do drink a glass of wine occasionally. If you're not over 21, don't take that part of advice, but when you are above 21, they do recommend a glass of red wine because it is good for your heart. And new studies say that it helps you look younger. So I hope that's the case. That would be very nice. Anyway, guys, I thank you for um, watching this. I thank you for the suggestion. I'm always open to suggestions. So if there's a video or something you would like me to do, please let me know. I love getting suggestions and hearing feedback from you guys. That means a lot to me. I will be doing more giveaways. Um, I'm planning on doing a giveaway maybe after Christmas. Because with Christmas and everything, guys, you know how busy things get and stuff. Everybody's busy right now. Um, I do want to do another giveaway. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it from my um, jewelry collection or not. Um, give me ideas what you guys would like to see for a giveaway. Whether you want me to do another jewelry one or if you prefer like maybe a Yankee candle or a gift card. Whatever. Let me know, guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you all soon and I will see you later. Bye.